A cover letter is a document that is sent alongside your CV when applying for many different roles. It introduces the recruiter to who you are and why you're a good fit for the role. It's also the opportunity to make sure that you stand out. Your cover letter can also show your interest in the business as well as why you meet the requirements. As well as listing the skills and qualifications you have to show that you meet the requirements, you can also use examples to back them up. With your cover letter, you need to make sure you grab the reader's attention as you don't have long to do so as they are typically sifting through a large volume of applications. You want to make sure the reader wants to read your CV and give you an interview. If you're writing a cover letter for the first time, figuring out how to lay it out can be daunting. A good place to start is to put the employer's address in the top left-hand corner of your cover letter. Then put your address in the top right-hand corner. If you know the name of the person who will be reading your cover letter, include this here. For example, Dear Joe Blogs. However, if you don't know the name, just put something along the lines of Dear Hiring Manager. In the first section of your cover letter, introduce yourself and explain why you're applying for the role. It's also a good idea here to include what role you're actually applying for. You should also state where you saw the job advertised and also why you're interested in this role. In this next section, you want to make it clear that you meet the requirements of the job. You want to make sure you explain what makes you a good candidate and what you can bring to the business. Make sure you refer to the job description, include any keywords and any key aspects of the job that you'll be carrying out. Make sure you sell yourself. You want to make sure you're supporting your CV instead of just regurgitating information from it. You now want to end on a positive note. Finish off in a friendly manner and thank the recruiter for their time. You could also finish off by noting your availability, either for your interview or for when you can start. If you have written to a named person, make sure you finish this off with yours sincerely. If you haven't done so and written to dear sir or madam or dear hiring manager, end with yours faithfully. Some key tips to remember now. Your CV and your cover letter should link, but avoid repetition. Make sure you keep it concise. One page should be plenty enough. Make sure you proofread and get someone else to proofread as well, just to make sure there's no silly mistakes that could turn employers away. Finally, ensure your cover letter is clean and looks professional. One good tip is to actually open up your cover letter on a different laptop or computer. This will make sure that the format stays the same and is exactly how you want it to look.